in the problem we just did, we move the camera up slightly. Um, we got the expression C of 4, 2 times C of 48, 3. Number of ways of choosing 2 out of the 4 5s in a deck. Number of ways of choosing 3 out of the 48 cards that are not 5s. Okay? Well, how do we evaluate this? It turns out that uh, even after testing on the conic chapter, uh, people were still unsure of how to evaluate these expressions. So let's go over that. Uh, not, not everybody, most, most people were okay with that, but uh, a significant number of people who actually did, in many cases, fairly well on the test, uh, still had a question on this. So uh, obviously we need to address it. Okay, C of 4, 2 is, well, here's our definition of combinations, here's our definition of permutations. Previously, we talked quite a bit about how these two are related and why the formulas are what they are. Uh, we're not going to talk about that right now, but I'll do a little addendum in a separate video right after this one where we review that whole concept. But here are the formulas. Now, whether, if you don't understand why the formulas are what they are, uh, then you just have to know the formulas. You have to memorize them if necessary. I think in most cases it's easier to understand why, but uh, uh, so we'll talk about that. But right now, here are the formulas. Now, C of 4, 2 then means, well, 4 is the first number. That's n. n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. The 4 goes here and here. And there it is. There's the 4 and there's the 4. The r is 2, and it's going to go here and here. We're going to subtract it from n, and we're going to have uh, r factorial or the 2 factorial here. Similarly, Using the same formula, now n is 48 and r is 3. Uh, we just plug the n in where the n goes, plug the r in where the r goes, and we get 48 factorial over 3 factorial times 48 minus 3 factorial. Now, um, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. <coughs> so. Uh, the 4 minus 2 factorial is 2 factorial. Now, I've crossed out the 2 factorial with 2 times 1 because 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So the 2 factorial here will divide into the 2 times 1 here and leave nothing. Uh, we get 1, and that's not going to make a difference in a multiplication. So we end up then with 4 times 3 over 2 times 1. So we have 4 times 3 divided by 2 times 1. Well, we divide the 2 into the 4, and that leaves us 2. Okay, let me be real clear about that. Let me just put the color these things a little bit. Okay, the 2 divides the 4, leaving us 2. So we have 2 times 3 here, so that this calculation ends up 2 times 3. Now, uh, this calculation here uh, is a little long. We can't write all the numbers from 48 down through 1. But if we look at the 48 minus 3 factorial, that's going to be 45 factorial. That's going to include all the numbers from 45 down to 1. So that we can divide the 45 factorial here. And if we wanted to, we could write this out in a separate step. We'd write that as 45 times 44 all the way down to 1. Every one of these numbers would divide the corresponding number up here. So that the 45 factorial and the 45 40, multiplied by 44 all the way down to 1, divide out. And we end up with uh, just a 1, of which, again, in the multiplication and division that we're doing makes no difference. We end up with 48 times 47 times 46 divided by 3 factorial. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So we end up with uh, 48 times 47 times 46 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. Now, the 3 times the 2 is 6, which divides into 48 8 times. So that this calculation ends up 8 times 47 times 46. Okay? So that the whole calculation reduces down to 2 times 3 multiplied by 8 times 47 times 46. On the test, 
I saw people uh, who would go ahead and try to evaluate the 48 factorial and then the 45 factorial and the 3 factorial on their calculators and do all this uh, division. Well, most calculators won't do 48 factorial. It's a huge, huge number beyond the capacity of most calculators, although there are some that will do it. Um, and I don't want to see you do that. Uh, I want to see you model, write it out this way and divide out everything that can be divided out until you just have whole numbers here. Then you can multiply those whole numbers, and of course you use the calculator. I don't want to do 47 times 46 in my head. I don't really want to do it on paper. And then multiply that by 8 and by 6. Nobody really wants to do that, even though we all can. Okay, so uh, we reduce the calculation down to this. <coughs> now, what's the interpretation? Well, 2 times 3 is how many ways there are to get your two fives. That was C of 4, 2. And uh, we understand uh, why that is, because there are four choices for the first card, three choices for the second, and two orders in which the same two cards could be chosen. So that's the uh, logic of this expression, which leads to this one. Okay? And similarly here, there are 48 times 47 times 46 ways to choose three cards out of 48 in order. You divide that by 3 times 2 times 1, which is the number of orders in which those three cards could be drawn. And that reduces down to this, but right here is the meaning. 48 choices for the first, 47 for the second, 46 for the third of the three cards chosen, divided by 3 times 2 times 1 ways to order the same three cards. In any case, uh, hopefully you'll understand this and maybe understand the formula a little, little better. But I'll go on in a minute and talk just a little bit more about these formulas and how they're related, just to review that. <coughs> 